Hey, this is Tony with Salt Strong, and in this video, I wanted to answer a couple questions I see a lot of people have about fishing at night, you know, inshore fishing at night. Number one, where should you be looking for fish? And number two, what types of lures you should be using? So I wanna go ahead and answer those questions in this video. So number one, you know, where should you be looking for fish at night? And the answer is actually very simple. You should be looking for fish in the same areas that you're finding fish during the day. Especially if you do find fish during the day and they're just not cooperating, you know, they have lockjaw, good chance that they were feeding in that location either overnight or first thing in the morning before the sun came up. So if you do find fish in a specific spot and they're not feeding very well, early morning or during the day when you're out there trying to catch them, that could be an ideal spot to go after them at night. Also, when you are out there fishing during the day, keep an eye on, you know, docks and lights that may be in a specific area. You know, if you're working a line of docks during the day, if you notice that some docks have lights on them that are, you know, pointed down into the, into the water, those can be ideal spots to hit at night. And also with all this being said, when you do fish at night, you should never go to a new spot because there may be you know, hazards in the water, you don't know what the depth is. You should go to a spot that you are comfortable fishing during the day. That way when you get out there at night, you know how to safely navigate that area without running into any obstructions for safety. Also another tip when you're fishing at night, when it comes to lighting, you know, when those lights are shining in the water constantly, you know, they're constantly on, it's not gonna spook the fish, it will actually draw in bait and it will draw in those predator fish. So if you do set up on a spot, you know, on a shoreline and you have some lights maybe behind you or overhead to light up the area that you're fishing and they're constantly on, that could actually help draw fish in. What really hinders, you know, night fishing when it comes to lights are the headlamps that you use. When you turn on your headlamp and that light is shining into the water sporadically, you know, it randomly comes on or it starts, you know, you're moving your head around and that light is just moving around in the water, that will actually spook fish. So you want to be very mindful when you are using a headlamp at night when night fishing to make sure that, you know, if you're fishing on shore, turn your back to the water, have the light shine on land, if you're tying knots or things like that. And if you're fishing in a kayak or a boat, just make sure you keep that light inside the boat. If anything, I like to use either red or green lights. They will still, uh, you know, give you enough light to see what you're doing, but they won't scare the fish as much as a bright, you know, white LED light that just randomly starts shining into the water. Now lastly, when it comes to lure selection when fishing at night versus fishing during the day, I do change it up a bit. You know, at night the fish are relying more on sound, vibration, and scent as opposed to sight. So you want to uh, use lures that either have all three of those things or at least one of those. So number one, my number one choice is going to be a larger paddle tail. You know, during the day I'm usually using a three or four inch paddle tail that has a small tail on it. But at night, you're actually gonna want something that's a little bit bigger in profile and also has a larger tail because it's going to cause more of a disturbance in the water to help those fish dial in on the actual lure itself. Now, as far as the color goes, I don't really you know, worry about color too much. It's more that vibration and that commotion that's gonna help draw the fish in. Once they're close enough, doesn't really matter what color it is, they're going to be able to hone in on it. And the Slam Shady color, which I have here, this is the Slam Shady Bomber. This is our five inch paddle tail. I have it rigged on a four aught, one eighth owner twist lock hook. This works really well at night under dirty water conditions, clear water conditions, works great. I've even used these in inlets in very deep water with a heavy jig head on there, you know, fishing for snook, and it works out very well. Now my next choice is going to be a topwater, something that causes a lot of commotion on the surface of the water. So if you're fishing, you know, around a lot of mullet or, you know, a lot of bait fish that are causing a lot of commotion on the surface, if you throw a topwater, that could be great for redfish, trout, snook, any of those predatory species because it makes a lot of commotion on the surface of the water. Also at night, you're fishing in low light conditions. So ideally those fish like to strike from the bottom up because you know, top water, if fish are striking from below up on the surface, the bait fish don't have anywhere to go. So that can be an easy way for them to trap their, 
their meal basically on the surface. So top water at night can be a great choice. This is our Moonwalker top water. It's very similar to, you know, the Super Spook Junior or the Rapala Skitter V or the Skitter Walk. You know, it has that side to side walk the dog motion and splashes a good amount on the surface. So this would be my second choice. Then my last lure selection, believe it or not, would actually be a gold spoon. This is the Aqua Dream, a gold spoon, either a gold spoon or a black spoon. A black colored spoon is going to have a nice silhouette under low light conditions. And then a gold spoon, gold actually requires less light to flash. So if you're fishing under a full moon where you do have some moonlight hitting the water, this will flash really well under those conditions. So gold spoon works really well because of the flash and also the vibration that it puts in the water. Now, if you are interested, we do sell all of these lures on our shop page at fishstrong.com. You can pick them up there. And if you are one of our insider members, keep in mind that you do get up to 20% off everything on the shop page. So definitely be sure to take advantage of that. So hopefully these tips can help you out if you are trying to fish at night. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down below. If you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we're the best online fishing club in America because we actually guarantee that you'll catch more fish while saving time and also money on the tackle you need. We do this through premium education, our exclusive insider fishing community, and huge discounts on the best tackle for saltwater anglers. To learn more, go to saltstrong.com. Otherwise, we hope to see you again soon.